Overview and Basic Buttonology The Zoll X-Series Advanced is equipped with a variety of patient monitoring connections, many of which are optional. One of the most commonly used connections is the ECG connector. In the X-Series Advanced, the ECG cable is capable of providing a respiratory rate using nomography. When the ECG cable is attached, the X-Series Advanced monitors the patient's impedance level across lead 2. Respirations cause a change in that impedance level, and it is used to provide a respiratory rate. The pulse oximeter connection utilizes Massimo Rainbow Set technology, which allows you to monitor oxygen saturations, pulse rate, carbon monoxide, met hemoglobin, perfusion index, pleth variability index, total hemoglobin, and oxygen content non-invasively. The available parameters depend on device configuration and the Massimo probe being used to monitor the patient. The blood pressure connection is located below the pulse oximeter port and will be covered in depth in a separate module. The ETCO2 connection utilizes Oridian technology and is covered by a spring-loaded door. Both MicroStream and Smart Capnoline filter line sets may be connected by lowering the door and threading the connections into the port. Below the port is the exhaust port for the capnography system. It is an output for expired gases from the patient and any connected breathing apparatus. The exhaust port is intended only for connection to gas collection equipment, such as gas scavenger devices. There should be no other connections to the exhaust port. The printer door can be opened by pulling on both sides. The printer accepts 80 millimeter rolls of paper. To change the paper, open the printer door, remove the old roll, and insert a new roll in an underhand fashion with the paper feeding off the bottom. The X-Series Advanced has a thermal printer where only one side of the paper is printable. Be sure to seat the roll on the posts on each side of the printer door. Once the roll is seated, make certain that a small amount of paper is visible and close the printer door firmly until it clicks audibly. The most important connection on the right side of the device is the multifunction cable port, or MFC. It is the cable used to provide all electrical therapies to the patient. Press down on the red tab and the cable will disconnect. To reconnect it, match the white arrows, press the cable into place, and assure that the collar is fully locked into position. The USB port has multiple purposes. It can be used to power the Zoll authorized cellular modem, download case files to a USB thumb drive, install software upgrades, and clone devices with a saved X-Series advanced configuration file. Temperature is also an optional configuration. If configured, there will be two temperature ports. Temperature is covered in a separate module. On the top of the X-Series Advanced, there are three LED indicators. Starting from the left, they are green, yellow, and red. Green indicates data movement, such as a 12-lead ECG transmission. The yellow and red LEDs are visual alarm indicators and will be accompanied by both audible alerts and messages on the X-Series Advanced screen. Yellow is a medium priority technical alert and will be seen in situations such as a disconnected ECG lead or the printer running out of paper. Red is a high priority patient alarm that requires immediate attention, such as a low blood pressure, apnea, or a life threatening arrhythmia. To the right of the LED lights is a green power button. Press once to turn it on. Press and hold to turn off. The press and hold feature ensures that the X-Series Advanced is not accidentally turned off by incidental contact. The Ready for Use indicator displays three statuses for the X-Series Advanced. They are Ready for Use, Flashing, or Do Not Use. If the red Do Not Use symbol is not present, the device is ready to use. If the Do Not Use symbol is present or flashing, the device is not ready to use. 
This can be due to either a battery issue, such as a low battery, or the battery not being properly installed, or it can be due to an equipment fault. Try replacing the battery with another charged battery and confirming that the battery is fully seated in the tray. If the Do Not Use symbol clears, then the device is now ready to use. If it does not, take the device out of service and contact Zoll Technical Support. Note that a device that is operating on wall power without a battery installed will display the flashing Do Not Use symbol. This is a reminder that, if unplugged, the device will power down. On startup, the X-Series Advanced will perform a self-test. The message, Self-Test Passed, will be displayed on the screen. In the event of a self-test failure, an error message will display. If configured to do so, the X-Series Advanced will start up in the pad's lead view so that it is always prepared for a cardiac arrest. If the pads are connected to the patient first, the device will remain in the pad's view. If the ECG cable is attached to the patient first, the device will switch to lead to monitoring. Once the device has been turned off for two minutes or longer, it will return to its original configuration, including patient mode. If the device is turned off for a period of less than two minutes, it will remain in the same patient case with all trends and settings intact. The Audio Pause Reset Silence button displays two icons, a bell and a bell with a line through it. When this button is pressed, they will pause or silence an audible alarm for 90 seconds. Pressing it again before the 90 seconds has expired will reset the alarm. The Display Home button has two functions, to return to home while in a menu and to change the display mode of the device. One press of Display Home will show the Trend Display, where available parameters are trending. Press Display Home again to remove all waveforms and replace with a large numeric display, similar to a vital signs monitor. Pressing Display Home a third time will return to the home screen with all available waveforms. The navigation keys allow navigation around the screen and interaction with the menus. The navigation keys work in a clockwise and counterclockwise fashion. In some menus, the arrows work in an up and down fashion. Press to move the blue cursor around the screen, highlighting available menu functions. Once an available function is highlighted, such as Adult, press the Select key, which selects that function. In this case, it accessed the three available patient modes in the X-Series Advanced, Adult, Pediatric, and Neonate. If the provider then navigates down to Pediatric and presses Select, they have placed the X-Series Advanced in Pediatric mode. The X-Series Advanced has three patient modes, Adult, Pediatric, and Neonate. The device defaults to Adult mode, but may be either manually changed to any mode or automatically changed to Pediatric if Zoll one-step Pediatric electrodes are attached. The one-step cable is required for this operation. When the patient mode is changed, alarm limits, target inflation pressure of the blood pressure system, and initial defibrillation energy settings are automatically set for that patient type. In advisory or AED mode, the X-Series Advanced will also utilize a pediatric-specific AED algorithm. For these modes, Pediatric is considered 30 days to 8 years of age, and Neonate is considered less than 30 days of age. The snapshot key is indicated by a camera icon. Press the key to produce a 24-second strip of an ECG and other waveforms on the screen 12 seconds prior to pressing the button and 12 seconds after it was pressed. The printout will display a camera icon on the bottom of the strip, indicating where it was pressed. This feature is used to capture a transient arrhythmia, such as ventricular tachycardia or other events, such as the capnography waveform after advanced airway insertion.
the recorded snapshot becomes a time-stamped event that appears in the treatment summary. The NIBP key starts or stops manual blood pressure readings. Press once to initiate a blood pressure measurement. Press the NIBP key again to cancel the measurement and deflate the NIBP cuff. The NIBP system will be covered in depth in another video. The Quick Access, or QA keys, are located on the left side of the screen. Next to each key is an icon similar to the icons for apps on a smartphone. There are icons for Lead Select, 12 Lead ECG, Capnography, Treatment Markers, Sync, which is used with synchronized cardioversion, and a Print key. The boomerang arrow will display a secondary menu. The colored therapy keys are for electrical therapies and will be covered in other videos.